Richard Rabbit comes to play. Pepper and George are playing in their bedroom. This will be the best house ever. <laughs> George! Richard Rabbit is here. <laughs> Georgie! Richard! Dinosaur! Dinosaur! Bye-bye, <laughs> Richard. I'll be back to pick you <laughs> up later. George and Richard are best friends. <laughs> Something not bouncy. <laughs> George has made the toy basket into a volcano. Richard is using toy trees to make a jungle. George has used the building blocks to make a river. Dinosaur! George and Richard have turned the bedroom into dinosaur land. I'm leaving. It's too noisy. Potato. And I say potato. 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 The good thing about rainy days potato. is we get to watch important potato. TV potato. programs. Potato. 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 Mummy, George and Richard have made the bedroom into dinosaur land, and dinosaur land is very noisy. George has his best friend here, but I've got no one to play with. You could ask Susie Sheep to come over. Susie Sheep is Peppa's best friend. Can Susie really come over now? Let's ring her. <laughs> Hello, Susie Sheep speaking. Susie, it's me. Can you come to my house now? Yes, Peppa. Can I wear my nurse's costume? Yes, but come quickly. Bye-bye, <laughs> <laughs> Susie. I'll be back to... Quick, Susie! ...pick you up later. <laughs> George, Richard, Nurse Susie is here. And Nurse Susie says this is not dinosaur land, it's a hospital. And a hospital must be clean and tidy. The bedroom is not dinosaur land anymore. It is a hospital. I'm the important doctor. Ooh, this dinosaur looks sick. I agree, Doctor. He's a very greeny ill colour. He must go to bed. And this dinosaur looks a very purpley ill colour. Yes, Doctor. He must go into bed too. Dinosaur! Shush! Quiet! In the hospital! Choo-choo! <coughs> the bedroom is not a hospital anymore. Now it is a railway station. No, no! There aren't any trains in Fairyland. Oh, now the bedroom is Fairyland. Only pretty things are allowed in Fairyland. <laughs> What's all this crying about? George and Richard want to play dinosaurs and trains. And we want to play hospitals and fairies. Hmm, I see the rain has stopped outside. So? So? Maybe you could all play outside. But they like little boys' games. And we like grown-up girls' games. But after it's been raining in the garden, what do you normally find? Muddy puddles! And what are muddy puddles for? Jumping up and down! Everyone loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles, whether they are big girls or little boys. Digger World. Pepper and George are visiting Digger World. Digger, digger. <laughs> George likes diggers. I like diggers too. <laughs> and today, you'll both be driving real diggers. Wow. Here is Mr. Potato. Welcome to Digger World, where all your digger dreams come true. <laughs> this is the sand digger ride. Ooh. 
Peter and George, jump on board. Mummy and Daddy Pig, you have to pedal. Oh. oh. <laughs> now, fill up this big bucket with sand. <laughs> this is fun. Yes, fun. <laughs> Excellent work, children. Now we flip the bucket over, give it a tap, and voila! Hooray! Pepper and George have made a big sandcastle. Let's go to the next ride. This is the wall building ride. <laughs> Stack the soft blocks to make a wall. Hurry up, Mummy! Okay, Pepper. <laughs> Oh, I'm going as fast as I can, Peppa. <laughs> Nearly finished. There. A lovely wall. Here comes George with a demolition digger. Meow. <laughs> oh, dear. George has knocked down Peppa's wall. George! <laughs> you naughty piggy. <laughs> Oh, building things up, then knocking them down. It's all part of the fun at Digger World. <laughs> this is the grabber machine. How do we play this one? Let's hope it's not pedal powered. Mummy and Daddy Pig do the pedaling. Uh oh. oh. Pepper and George use the grabber to win a lovely prize. Ooh. There are Mr. Potato dolls or toy dinosaurs to be won. I'm sure. OK, George, let's get a dinosaur. <laughs> this way, George. <laughs> no, no, that way. Back, forward, down. <laughs> Hooray! We've got the dinosaur. <laughs> oh. The dinosaur toy is too heavy for the grabber. Oh, try again. The Mr. Potato Doll is just the right weight for the grabber. Aren't you lucky? And he's yours to keep. Oh. But the best news is you have earned your digger badges. You are fully qualified digger drivers. Hooray! <laughs> Thank you for visiting Digger World, where all your digger dreams come true. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> I really like Digger World because we get to drive... Stop! It is Mr Bull. What's the matter, Mr Bull? We're building a wall across the road. Digger, Digger, <laughs> Mr Bull, can we drive your Digger? Oh, I'm afraid children can't drive diggers. But we've been to Digger World. We've got badges. Oh, that's OK then. Hop aboard. <laughs> I'll drive the digger and you can have the important job of pushing the buttons. <laughs> OK now, push the button. What? This red one? No, the green one! The digger has knocked over the new wall. Sorry, Mr Bull. Ha <laughs> ha! Building things up, then knocking them down. It's all part of the fun with diggers. Pepper and George love diggers. Everyone loves diggers. Soft play. It is morning. Pepper and her family are having breakfast. Oh, there's a letter here for George. <laughs> <laughs> it's an invitation to Richard Rabbit's party Sounds fun I'll take George to the party As long as it's not at that awful soft play centre It says soft play Ah Daddy doesn't like the soft play centre Last time he got stuck And was rescued by a helicopter And a fire engine And a crane It wasn't exactly like that, Pepper. It was only a helicopter I think soft play sounds lovely. I will go with you, George. <laughs> it is time for Richard Rabbit's party. Bye. I'll be back to pick you up later. You're very welcome to stay if you want. It's soft play, isn't it? No, thanks. <laughs> 
Hello. You're very welcome to stay if you want. See you later. Hello, Miss Rabbit. Hello, Mummy Pig. I quite understand if you don't want to stay. No, I'll stay. Us grown-ups can have a nice, quiet chat while the children play. Oh, OK. <laughs> this is the soft play centre, where everything is soft, so children can bounce, swing, squash, slide and play. This is great. The children are having so much fun. Yes, I just hope we can get them out at the end. <laughs> the little children have been playing all day. Home time, children. <laughs> that was a lovely party, wasn't it? Yes. Have you all had fun? Yes. Are you ready to go home now? No. <laughs> oh, my goodness. We're never going to get them out. There's only one thing for it. I'll have to go in. Good luck. Ooh. Ah, I'm stuck. Help. Don't worry, I'm coming in. I'm nearly there. Oh, no, I'm stuck too. Help. Hello. Mr Elephant has come to collect Edmund Elephant. Mr Elephant. Help, we're stuck. <laughs> no problem, ladies. I'll get you out. No, don't. You'll get stuck. It's a trap. Ah, I'm stuck. <laughs> Daddy Pig, Pepper, and Susie have come to collect George. <laughs> ah, what good little children you are. Uh, where are your parents? Help! Help! We're, we're stuck. stuck. Oh, oh, that usually happens to me. That is going to happen to me, isn't it? I'm going to go in there and get stuck. Me and Susie can go in. We're smaller. That's kind of you both, but it is my job. As a grown-up, I must do this. But, Daddy... Don't worry, Peppa. If I get stuck, I will ring for the rescue services. <laughs> ah, yes, I'm stuck. Lucky I've got my phone. Hello? Rescue service? Oh, you're in here too? Yes, I'm a bit tied up at the moment. So there's no one to rescue us? We're here, Daddy. <coughs> we will rescue the grown-ups. That tickles. Hey! Thank you, Pepper and Susie, for rescuing us. Hip, hip! Hooray! Hooray! Now we can all go home. <laughs> the little ones have gone back inside. Pepper, can you bring the little ones out now? Yes, Daddy. But we might have to play a bit first. <laughs> Pepper and Susie love the soft play centre. Everyone loves the soft play centre. <laughs> It is a lovely sunny day. Pepper and George are playing in the garden. Muddy puddles! <laughs> Pepper and George love jumping up and down in muddy puddles. <laughs> George, you are all muddy. <laughs> Peppa, George. <laughs> George, my goodness, what a muddy little piggy. <laughs> You'll need a bath. And we'll need to wash your clothes. Oh. <laughs> George is washed in the bath. <laughs> George's clothes are washed in the washing machine. We must have washed these clothes a thousand times. George's clothes have got holes in them. When you wash clothes a thousand times, they get holes in them. <laughs> <laughs> I can see your Bottom, George. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's time we got George some new clothes. Mummy Pig is taking Pepper and George to the clothes shop. Hello, Mummy Pig. Hello, Miss Rabbit. How can I help you? We need some new clothes for George, please. <laughs> well, you're in luck. This is a clothes shop. <laughs> First, we need to measure you. <laughs> now hold your arms out. 
George thinks you're going to tickle him. I promise I won't tickle you, George. Very good. What a big, strong boy you are. <laughs> you see, George, Miss Rabbit didn't tickle you, did she? No. But I will. <laughs> George loves being tickled. Right, let's find George some new clothes. How about this? It will keep you very warm. Ooh. If George would kindly go into the changing booth, please. George is wearing a big, thick, woolly jumper. You look cuddly, George. Hmm, <coughs> I don't think white is the best colour for puddle jumping. Hmm, this isn't white. It's every other colour but white. George, you look like a clown. No. George does not want to look like a clown. Hmm, too much colour. What about this then? Now you look like a penguin. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's still not really George. Hmm. What about this, then? Basically, it's what you had before. Oh, yes. <laughs> George, you look like you. What do you think, George? Away! <laughs> George likes his new clothes. <laughs> Daddy, we're home. Oh, so George didn't get any new clothes, then. These are his new clothes, Daddy Pig. The same as before, but no holes. <laughs> ho, ho, I see. Can we play in the garden now, Mummy? Yes, let's all play in the garden. Yippee! <laughs> <laughs> Look, a muddy puddle. Let's jump in it. <laughs> Jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Splish, splash, splosh, splish, splash. With a big splash kick. <laughs> George, you've got your new clothes all muddy again. Oh. You're one to talk, Peppa. Look at your clothes. <laughs> and you seem to be a little muddy too, Daddy Pig. And you, Mummy Pig. Oh, well, it's only mud. It'll come off in the wash. <laughs> if we're going to get washed anyway, let's get even more muddy. Yeah! <laughs> Peppa, George, Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig love getting muddy. Everyone loves getting muddy. <laughs> the carnival. Peppa and her family have come to watch the carnival. Hello. Here are Susie Sheep and Molly Mole. Hello, Hello Peppa. Peppa. Have you come to watch the carnival? Yes. I can't wait. It's going to be amazing. With fire-breathing dragons. And magic people flying. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's hope it really is that great. What's that? Is it starting? No, that's just someone sweeping the road before the carnival comes. Oh, it actually sounds quite good. They're using brushes and dustbins to make music. <laughs> the carnival has begun. Here is Mr. Bull and his fancy jazz band. It is Mr. Pony, the optician. Hello. Look, Pedro's on the lorry. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Pedro. <laughs> I wish I was in the carnival. Me too. It is Captain Dog and Danny Dog. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look! It's Miss Rabbit's rescue service. But where's Miss Rabbit? Miss Rabbit is the carnival queen. Ooh. She's not doing much, is she? Well, that makes a change from all the jobs Miss Rabbit normally does. She's probably quite happy to put her feet up. <laughs> <laughs> Here is Mr. Potato. Please welcome your friend and mine, Mr. Potato! Mr. Potato has a big balloon tied to the back of his car. Wow! wow. That must be 
must be the biggest balloon in the world. Up, down, up, down, all together now. Mr. Potato is coming to town. <gasps> oh, no. The string has come loose. Ah, my balloon! <laughs> it's okay. I've caught it. Oh, 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 I'm flying away. Help! We have to call the rescue service. <laughs> Rescue service. Mr. Potato's hanging from a balloon. Help! Help! I'll be right there. Wait a minute. I can't go and rescue with all this on. Who wants to be Carnival Queen while I do some rescuing? Me! 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 me. There you go. <laughs> I think I should be the queen because I am very good at being bossy. I can be bossy too. I should be the queen because I am the best at waving. <laughs> Why don't you all take it in turns to be queen? OK, I'll wear the crown. I'll sit on the throne. And I'll wear the cloak. <laughs> help! Help! Miss Rabbit is going to rescue Mr Potato. I'll just fly up from underneath. Ah, watch out! Oh, sorry, Mr Potato. Hang on, I'll go above. Miss Rabbit, what is your plan? I never have a plan. I just make it up as I go along. Autopilot on. Have a nice day. Autopilots fly helicopters on their own. Bye. Goodbye. Now, how can we get this balloon down? Shall I pop it? <gasps> no, don't pop the balloon. Oh, OK. I'll untie the knot. Miss Rabbit is going to let the air out of the balloon. Wait, wait! <laughs> Miss Rabbit has rescued Mr. Potato. Thank you. Hooray! Now I can get back to being the Carnival Queen. Oh, oh. I think we've got three Carnival Queens now. <laughs> this is the best carnival ever. <laughs> Peppa loves carnivals. Everybody loves carnivals. Edmund Elephant's birthday. Mr Zebra the postman is delivering a letter to Peppa's house. Oh, look. Someone's got a party invitation. It must be for me. It says... To George Pig from Edmund Elephant. Please come to my party. Doesn't it say George and Peppa? No, just George. Hmm, I didn't want to go to a silly baby party anyway. Hello? Oh, it's for you, Peppa. It's Emily Elephant. Hello. Hello, Peppa. Do you want to come to Edmund's party as my friend? Oh, yes, please. My mummy wants us to help with the little ones. Help? Yes, I can help. Danny and Susie are helpers too. Oh, goody. <laughs> Everyone is here for Edmund Elephant's party. <laughs> oh, the helpers are here. Hello, Mrs. Elephant. Elephant. Let's get this party started. <laughs> Who wants to play musical statues? Yay! This is what you do. Dance when the music is playing. And when it stops, freeze like a statue. Ready, steady, go. Pass the parcel! 
Edmund has got a medal. Hurry up, Richard. Just take the paper off. Richard has got a medal. <laughs> George has got a medal. <laughs> Oh dear, George isn't passing the parcel. <laughs> no, George, that's Zaza's medal. <laughs> it's a giant teddy. Edmund has one. Finished. Um, lovely. Now it's time for food. Hooray! <laughs> oh, the helpers have taken all the seats. <laughs> this is Edmund's party, remember? The helpers can eat after the little ones. Oh, oh yes. yes. We're the helpers. <laughs> Goose, please. Cheese, please. Juice, please. Jelly, please. Jelly, jelly. More, please. Happy birthday, Edmund. Happy birthday, Edmund. <laughs> it is the end of the party. Thank you to the helpers. You all worked really hard. Yes. It's not easy looking after little children. <sighs> I need to lie down. I need a holiday. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper and George are playing at Zoe Zebra's house. <laughs> Little Zuzu and Zaza are making a jungle with play clay. George has made a dinosaur out of play clay. <laughs> Pepper and Zoe are having a doll's picnic. Hello, Mr Monkey. Would you like a cup of tea? Oh, oh, oh. Monkey says yes. What's the magic word, Mr Monkey? Oh, oh, oh. That means please. Oh, we haven't got a tea set. We could make a tea set out of play clay. Yes. George, can we use a play clay, please? No. Grrr. Zuzu, Zaza, we need to make a tea set for our tea party. No. You can help us make it. <laughs> I'll make the teapot and we'll make the cups. <laughs> there, now Monkey can have tea. Oh, this teapot is too soft. Real tea sets aren't soft. <laughs> My mummy makes real pots. She does pottery. Ooh. Mummy, can you help us make a tea set, please? With teacups and a teapot that we can put real water in. OK, come with me. This is where Mrs Zebra makes her pottery. Let's make this tea set. What's that? Clay. All pottery starts off like that. But it's soft, like play clay. We need it to be soft so we can shape it. But later, it won't be soft. Ooh! Mummy Zebra is making a little cup on the potter's wheel. There. One cup. Wow! <laughs> that looks easy! Would you like to try? Yes, please! <laughs> it's all slimy! <laughs> ah, it's all gone wrong! Making a cup on a potter's wheel is not easy. There is an easier way to make a cup. First, we roll the clay into a long worm like this. It's a wriggly worm. I'm a wriggly worm. I'm a wriggly worm. I'm made of clay. What shall I make today? I'm a wriggly worm. <laughs> We wrap it round and round like this. It's a bit bumpy. Now I smooth it out with my hands. And I add a handle. <laughs> it's a cup. 
Now we have two cups. Yes, but a tea set needs more than two cups. We'll all make cups. Yes. <laughs> dinosaur. George has made a dinosaur. George always makes dinosaurs. Oh, what a scary dinosaur. <laughs> now we need to bake the tea set in a kiln. A kiln is an oven that cooks the clay and makes it hard. The tea set should be ready. Hooray! Now we paint them. <laughs> the children are painting the tea set. Lovely bright colours. The tea set is finished. Now we can have our tea party. There's a cup for everyone. Oh, we forgot to make a teapot. I know. George's dinosaur can be the teapot. Yes. Let's fill it with water. <laughs> this is the best tea set in the world. Everybody knows that all the finest tea sets have a dinosaur in them. Teapot! <laughs> <laughs> His friend. Peppa and her friends are at the playground. Peppa, Susie and Danny are on the road. <laughs> are you all ready? Ready! Then let's go! <laughs> George is a bit too little for the roundabout. He is playing on the swing. <laughs> Here is Rebecca Rabbit with her little brother, Richard Rabbit. Hello, everyone. Hello. <laughs> Can I come on the roundabout too? Hop on, Rebecca. <laughs> Let's go really, really fast. Richard Rabbit wants to go on the roundabout too. Oh, if Richard gets on, it means we can't go fast. Richard can play with George. Richard, would you like to play with George? No. George has a dinosaur just like yours. Let's go and see. Richard Rabbit is the same age as George. Richard wanted to see George's dinosaur. Grrr, dinosaur. <laughs> George, can Richard play with your dinosaur? No. Richard, can George play with your dinosaur? No. George and Richard do not want to share their dinosaurs. George, it will be much more fun if you share. That was really nice of George. <laughs> Dinosaur! George does not like sharing. Richard, let George hold the dinosaurs now. <laughs> Richard does not like sharing either. What's all this crying about? George and Richard always cry when they play together. They're just too little to play properly. Can you two big girls teach them to play together? Of course. We can help them make sand castles. Good idea. Let's go to the sand pit. <laughs> George and Richard love the sand pit. George, Richard, today... We are going to make sand castles. First, we fill the buckets with sand. We turn the buckets over and give them a little tap. Now, we lift the buckets. Hey, presto! Richard has made a sand castle. Hey, presto! And George has made a sand castle. <laughs> you see? Playing together is fun. <coughs> oh dear, this game has not gone very well. It was your brother's fault. He broke George's sandcastle. Your brother broke my brother's sandcastle first. Now, now, you two big girls are meant to be teaching Richard and George to play nicely together. 
That's right. We're big girls. And George and Richard are too little to play together properly. Hmm. I've got an idea. <coughs> George, what's your most favourite thing in the whole playground? <coughs> seesaw. George loves the seesaw. <laughs> seesaw. It is a bit difficult to play on a seesaw on your own. <coughs> Richard wants to play on the seesaw. <laughs> seesaw, seesaw, seesaw. Look, George and Richard are playing together. Seesaw, 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 seesaw. <laughs> George likes Richard. Richard likes George. George and Richard like playing together. <laughs> Long train journey. Pepper and her family are having breakfast. Oh. What's the matter, Daddy Pig? I need to go on a long journey for work. Can we come too? It's work, Pepper, and it's a long, long way by train. Choo choo! <laughs> Please, can we go? It won't be fun. I'm testing concrete. I need to know the relative density to mass to calculate for voids in the aggregate. I need to know that too. Uh, what does Mummy Pig think? I think it sounds lovely. But it's hundreds of miles away in another country. Please, Daddy Pig. All right. We can all go. Hooray! This is the train station. <laughs> Miss Rabbit is the train driver. All aboard! <laughs> Full steam ahead! Are we nearly there yet? No, Pepper. It's a long journey, so you'll just have to be patient. <sighs> Why not sing a song to pass the time? OK. Clickety-clack, clickety-clack, the train runs on the track. Huff and puff, huff and puff, clickety-clickety-clack. I've sung a song. Now are we nearly there? Oh, oh, there's still a long way to go, Pepper. We won't get there until tomorrow morning. But what about bedtime? Where will we sleep? Right here. But this isn't a bedroom, Daddy. Watch this. <laughs> Magic beds! <laughs> and here's where we brush our teeth. A magic bathroom. There's a little basin with little taps. And that's not all. A magic toilet. I wonder what this button is for. Ah. <laughs> Daddy has found the magic shower. <laughs> Hello. Passports, please. Of course. Ah, you are Mr. Pig. The Mr. Pig. You must be coming to test our concrete. Uh, yes. Do you know me? Oh, your work in concrete is famous in our country. Oh, but I have disturbed you. Good night. Uh, good night. It is bedtime. <sighs> night, night, Pepper and George. Night, night, my little piggies. Night, night. Pepper and George are tucked up in their little beds on the train. Clickety-clack, clickety-clack, the train runs on the track. Huff and puff, huff and puff, ba da 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 boop, boop. It is morning and time for breakfast on the train. Good morning. Miss Rabbit, aren't you meant to be driving the train? It's fine. The train runs on rails. It can't get lost. Would you like coffee or orange juice? I'd like both, please. No, coffee or orange juice. You can't have both. I don't think we have to be so strict with the famous Mr. Pig. Coffee and orange juice. Thank you. Excuse me, I am King Alfonso. Could I have a coffee and orange juice too? No, that is impossible. Pepper and her family have arrived at the end of their long train journey. We are honoured to have your visit, Mr. Pig. Thank you. Here is the concrete for you to test. Daddy Pig is an expert at concrete. 
Hmm. Very good. Hooray! I hope the trying journey wasn't too long and tiring. No, it was lovely. What do we do now? My job is done. So we can take the train back home. Oh, goody. We get to sleep on the train again. <laughs> Peppa loves long train journeys. Everyone loves long train journeys. <laughs> the Great Barrier Reef. Peppa is on holiday in Australia at Kylie Kangaroo's house. I love it here at your house, Kylie. Yes, I could stay here forever. It's great having you all stay, but I will have to go to work today. What is your job, Mrs Kangaroo? I'm a marine biologist. What's that? I study sea creatures, like these little fish here. Ooh, a fish tank! But the fish I study don't live in a tank, they live in the sea. Do the fishes in the sea have little bridges to swim through and treasure to play with? <laughs> no, Pepper. That's just the sort of stuff people put in fish tanks. Would you all like to come and see where I work? Yes, please. I've been to where my daddy works. There was a telephone, lots of paper and colouring pens. It was a very nice office. I think you'll find my office is pretty fun too. <laughs> <laughs> this is my office. Where? There, Peppa. The sea. I've got the best office in the world. But how can you work in the sea? With this submarine. <laughs> wow! Do you want a ride? Yes, please. OK, hop in. <laughs> Wow! It's all the colours of the rainbow! That's coral. Coral is made of lots and lots of tiny creatures. Ooh! And the coral stretches for miles and miles. We call it the Great Barrier Reef. It's my job to keep the coral safe. Can we take some coral home with us? Sorry, Peppa. We can look, but we mustn't touch. If every visitor took a little bit of coral home... Soon all the coral would be gone. We must never, never take anything away from here. Ah! Oh, look! Little fish. They're clownfish. Clownfish? <laughs> they do look quite funny. Look over there! A big blue starfish! There's a tiny red one! And a spiky green one! What's that? That's a turtle! Ooh. Hello, Mrs Turtle! How are you today? <laughs> you see how lucky I am to work in such an amazing place, Peppa? <laughs> A little bridge, just like in your fish tank. Oh, 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 you're right, Peppa. It is quite like the fish tank here. Except there's no treasure chest, of course. <laughs> <laughs> what have you seen, George? It looks like a chest full of gold coins. Wow! wow. George has found a treasure chest. You see, Daddy, everything is the same as the fish tank. Uh, yes. That gold must be worth a fortune. I think I can get it. But you said we must never take anything away. I meant natural things that belong here. That's right. These gold coins don't belong here, so we need to remove them. It will all go to a good cause. Yes, it'll pay for lots more marine research. Hooray! That was a good day at the office. We saw coral and fishes and a turtle. This is a great holiday. I don't want it to ever end. <laughs> but you are going to leave sometime, right? Oh, not that you aren't welcome to stay as long as you like, of course. Thank you, Mrs Kangaroo. <laughs> this holiday is the best. <laughs>
<laughs> Pepper is having a lovely holiday with Kylie Kangaroo. The market. It is a lovely sunny day and the market has come to town. Apples, apples, get your apples here. Cheese, smelly cheese. Fish, nice fresh fish. Each market stall sells one thing. Apples, cheese. Fish. Mr. Fox's stall sells everything. Violins, casters, rocket engines. <laughs> Pepper and her family have come to the market to do their shopping. Fresh apples. Can we buy some apples, please? What kind would you like? Big or small? Red or green? We would like the apples that taste nice. Why don't you try one? Mmm, lovely. A bag of the lovely apples, please. Thank you. <laughs> cheese, cheese. Yum, yum. George loves cheese. <laughs> I've got a very smelly cheese here. Uh, maybe Daddy Pig uh, should give it a sniff. <laughs> the smell of the cheese has knocked Daddy Pig off his feet. Wow. That's what I call a strong cheese. Good, isn't it? Mmm, yum, yum. George likes smelly cheese. <laughs> May we buy that one, please? Of course. Thank you. Fish, nice fresh fish. Can we buy some fish, please? OK, I've got trout, addock, mackerel or squid. What would you like? They all look good. How about I give you some of each? Then you can make a lovely fish pie. Fish pie? Yummy! There you go. Thank you very much. Fish, apples, cheese. Here is Mr Fox's store. Bananas, flower <laughs> tools, handbags. I'm selling anything, really. What do you want? Nothing, thank you. We've bought everything we need. Apples, cheese and fish. Oh, why didn't you come to me first? I've got all of that. Do you sell apples? You've never seen apples like these. They're made of wood. Wooden apples? Brilliant, aren't they? They'll last forever. What else did you buy? Cheese. Cheese? I've got all kinds of cheese here. They don't smell of much. It's because they're plastic. Made of Plastic? Yes, guaranteed to last you a lifetime. Buy one, get four free. No, thank you, Mr Fox. You bought a fish too, didn't you? I could have sold you a better fish. No plastic fish, thank you. This isn't plastic. Well, actually it is. But this is an amazing toy fish. Look, it sings. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. <laughs> How I wonder what you are. And it only needs 24 batteries. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? Uh. Can we have one, Daddy? No. Please. We could take it home and it could sing to us all day. I'm sorry, Pepper, but our house doesn't need a singing fish. OK. Thanks, Mr Fox, but we really do have everything we came for. There must be something else you need. How about an antique china vase that will never break? Because it's, uh, made of plastic. It's really lovely, but we just don't need anything. Oh, it is raining. Ah! We're getting all wet! No worries. I've got just the thing. Umbrellas! Oh, oh, oh. we'll take them. Yes, four umbrellas, please. Mr Fox's store sells everything. You see, it's lucky you came to my stall. Yes, thank you, Mr Fox. And the best thing is, just for today, buy four umbrellas and you get a singing fish free. Oh, goody! <laughs> twinkle, twinkle. Pepper loves markets. Everyone loves markets. Playgroup star. Pepper and her friends are at playgroup. Peppa, what a wonderful picture you have painted. It is me and George and my mummy and daddy at our house. But where are you all? I can only see a house. We are all inside the house. Of 
course. It really is a wonderful picture. Here is a playgroup star. Wow! Thank you, Madam Gazelle. It is home time and the parents have come to collect the children. Mummy! Daddy, look! I've got a playgroup star. That's fantastic, Pepper. I remember Madam Gazelle gave me a playgroup star when I was a little piggy. A long time ago, when Mummy and Daddy Pig were little, Madame Gazelle was their teacher. <laughs> Here is a playgroup star. <laughs> I was so happy. Did you get lots of playgroup stars, Mummy? Oh, yes. <laughs> Daddy, did you get lots of playgroup stars too? Uh, it was such a long time ago, I really can't remember. No, I'm pretty sure you didn't get one, did you? <gasps> you never got a playgroup star, Daddy! No, I never did get a playgroup star. Not even a little one? No. Anyway, like Daddy Pig said, it was a long time ago, Peppa. And they're really not that important. What do you mean, Mummy? They are very important, aren't they, Daddy? Uh, yes, Peppa. Are you sad that you never got a playgroup star, Daddy? Well, I have done other things in my life to be proud of, you know. Maybe if you do a good drawing and show Madame Gazelle, she will give you one now. Playgroup stars are for children, Pepper, not for grown-ups. There! The roof is all fixed. Thank you, Mr Bull. That really is wonderful work. Have a playgroup star. Oh, thank you very much. Look, Daddy, Mr. Bull's got a star and he's a grown-up. Hmm. It is evening time. Pepper and George are going to bed. Are you still sad because you never got a playgroup star, Daddy? You know what, Pepper? The more I think about it, the more I think I should have got a playgroup star. Why? Because I love to make things, and I was always drawing in class. What was your best drawing, Daddy? Would you like to see it? I think I've still got it somewhere. I'm sure I put it in the loft. Ah, here's my old school bag. And here is my picture. Wow, it's a dragon. Grr. It's very good, Daddy. <laughs> yes, I was quite pleased with it. But it didn't get a star. Nope. Hmm, that's sad. It is the next day. Pepper and George are going to playgroup. <laughs> Look at this, Susie. <sniffs> it's not fair, Pepper. You're too good at drawing. It's not my drawing. It's my daddy's. Oh, not so good for a grown-up. He drew it a long time ago when he was little. Ah. Pepper, have you done another wonderful drawing? No, Madam Gazelle. This is my daddy's drawing. Ah, yes. I remember your daddy did like to draw. But you never gave him a playgroup star. I must have given him one for this. No, you didn't. Daddy Pig, you deserve a playgroup star. Oh, oh, I've never been so proud. <laughs> Daddy Pig is a playgroup star. Hooray for Daddy Pig! <laughs> George's birthday. Today is George's birthday. It is very early in the morning. <laughs> George, it's too early. Dinosaur. Go back to bed. <laughs> it sounds like someone's up bright and early. Happy birthday, George. George woke me up. You woke everyone up on your birthday, Peppa. That was different. That was my birthday. And today is George's birthday. Uh... Happy birthday, George. <laughs> Here's your present, George. Ooh. Dinosaur! 
<laughs> I knew it would be some sort of dinosaur thingy. <laughs> ho, ho, ho. Squeeze its tummy. <laughs> Too scary. <laughs> <laughs> George, I've made you a birthday card. Can you guess what the picture is? George cannot guess. I was going to paint you a flower. Oh. George does not like flowers. But in the end, I painted you a... Dinosaur! That's a lovely picture, Peppa. Yes, I'm very good at painting. <laughs> now, we're going somewhere very special for George's birthday treat. Yippee! Let's go! Where are we going? You'll see. <laughs> the family are setting off for George's birthday treat. Are we going to the circus? No, but it's somewhere just as good. Um, is it the cinema? No, much better. I just can't guess. Where can they be going? We're here. The family have arrived at the museum. Why are we at the museum? Come on, you'll see. What can George's birthday treat be? George, what do you like best in the whole world? Dinosaur. <laughs> Ooh, dinosaur. George's birthday treat is a visit to the museum dinosaur room. Huh, silly old dinosaurs again. <laughs> dinosaur! <gasps> Don't be frightened, George. It's not a real dinosaur. It's just a robot. Look, I stand on this spot and... <laughs> <laughs> and now there's another surprise. <laughs> All of George and Peppa's friends are here. Surprise! <laughs> Mummy Rabbit has made a birthday cake for George. Can anyone guess what sort of cake it is? A dinosaur cake. It is! What an amazing guess, Peppa! Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, George! <laughs> There's one last surprise. Follow me. <laughs> what is the last surprise? What do you think it is, Peppa? It's probably something to do with dinosaurs. Oh, what's that? <laughs> it just needs to be filled with air. I know, I know. It's a bouncy castle. Peppa loves bouncy castles. But if it's for George... Why isn't it something to do with dinosaurs? Oh, oh, it is a dinosaur! A bouncy dinosaur! Hooray! <laughs> George loves bouncy dinosaurs. Everyone loves bouncy dinosaurs. <laughs> this is great! Happy birthday, George! <laughs> George's new dinosaur. <laughs> George is playing with his favourite toy, Mr Dinosaur. George loves playing with Mr Dinosaur. Mr Dinosaur is made of plastic. It is almost impossible to break him. Dinosaur! George loves playing with Mr Dinosaur in the bath. Night time, George always takes Mr. Dinosaur to bed with him. Dinosaur! George! Mr. Dinosaur is broken! Oh! Mr. Dinosaur does not have a tail anymore. <laughs> Poor George! You have had Mr. Dinosaur a long time. I'm surprised he lasted as long as he did. Maybe it's about time you got a new dinosaur. Yes, we can go to Mr Fox's shop tomorrow. This is Mr Fox's shop. Mr Fox's shop sells everything. I'm sure we'll find you a lovely new dinosaur here, George. I'm sure. George does not want a new dinosaur. Look, George, a big dinosaur. 
<gasps> Dinosaur. <laughs> Good morning. Can I help you? We'd like the dinosaur in the window, please. Certainly. Good choice. This is the dino roar. It roars, it walks, and it sings a dinosaur song. Dino roar, dino roar, listen to the dino roar. Roar! Wow! Dino roar! <laughs> we'll take it. <laughs> roar! <laughs> George is playing with dino roar in the garden. Don't play too roughly with Dino Roar, George. He has moving parts and might get broken. George cannot play with Dino Roar in the garden. George wants to play with Dino Roar in the bath. George, if you get Dino Roar wet, he'll stop working. George cannot play with Dino Roar in the bath. It is night time. George has taken Dino Roar to bed with him. Maybe Dino Roar should sleep somewhere else. George cannot have Dino Roar in his bed at night. It is morning. Why is George looking so sad? George cannot play with Dino Roar in the garden, in the bath or in bed. Never mind, George. Dino Roar can still roar. Dino Roar, Dino Roar, listen to the Dino Roar. Oh. I think the batteries must have run out, Daddy Pig. Already? How many batteries are in here? Hundreds and thousands. Dino Roar needs lots of batteries to make him roar. Oh, what's this? A trumpet? <laughs> doesn't work. Dinosaur. <laughs> That's not a trumpet, Pepper. You found Mr. Dinosaur's tail. Oh. Now, Daddy Pig can mend him. I'll try. Hmm. I think it might be quite difficult to mend. Oh. Daddy Pig has mended Mr. Dinosaur. Hooray! Oh, oh. I am a bit of an expert at mending things. George loves Mr. Dinosaur. Dinosaur. <laughs> dinosaur, dinosaur. Hello, Mr. Dinosaur. <laughs> 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 Mr. Dinosaur is George's favourite toy in the whole world. The noisy night. Peppa's family are having a sleepover at Cousin Chloe's house. Hello, everyone. Hello. Hello. You must be tired after your long journey. Yes, an early night would be nice. First, we'll put baby Alexander to bed. <laughs> <laughs> this is baby Alexander's bedroom. <laughs> Alexander likes noise. It sends him to sleep. <laughs> we like noise in this house. We're a noisy family. Peppa, George, you're staying in my room tonight. Oh, goody. <laughs> Peppa and George are excited to be sleeping in Cousin Chloe's bedroom. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Night, night. Everyone is tucked up in their beds, asleep. Baby Alexander is awake. Peppa and George are awake. What's that noise? It's the vacuum cleaner. Um, why are you vacuuming at night? We're not disturbing you, are we? What? Oh, no. <laughs> we found noise is the best way to get baby Alexander back to sleep. He likes noise. We're a noisy family. Everyone is back in their beds, asleep. <coughs> Baby Alexander is awake. <coughs> Why is Auntie Pig playing a trumpet? 
to get Alexander to sleep. The more noise, the better. Is there another way that doesn't use noise? We do find noise is the best way. When George was a baby, we used to put him in his pram and wheel him around the house. And that always sent him to sleep. How strange. No loud noises. That's right. How many times round the house was it, Mummy Pig? Three times? Fifty times. <sighs> Daddy Pig is pushing baby Alexander around the house. Fifty times. <sighs> Good. Baby Alexander is asleep. Can you let me back in? I'll just switch the alarm off. Switch the alarm back on. Peppa, what are you doing up? I can't sleep, Daddy. It's a noisy night. OK, Peppa. Let's get you back to bed. Now, which bedroom are you staying in? Stop, Daddy. That's baby Alexander's room. Ah. Oh. The light has woken baby Alexander. It's all right. I've got the vacuum cleaner. I've got the trumpet. Stop! Stop! I remember another quiet way we used to get George to sleep. Oh, yes! We drove him around in the car. I'll get the car started. Don't forget the alarm! Daddy Pig has set off the noisy house alarm. The noisy house has woken everyone up. It's Miss Rabbit in her rescue helicopter. Is everybody all right down there? I heard the alarm. Yes, thank you. All right. Cheerio. Oh, all that loud noise has sent baby Alexander to sleep. He's really fast asleep now. Oh, thanks to my noisy daddy. Well done, Daddy Pig. We should have you to stay more often. <laughs> Rock pools. Peppa and George are going to the seaside with Granny and Grandpa Pig. <laughs> <laughs> Peppa and George love the seaside. Oh, where's the sand gone? There isn't any sand on this beach, Peppa. No sand? But we wanted to make sand castles. Peppa and George love making sand castles. <laughs> no, no, George. Don't be upset. <laughs> there are lots of exciting things to do on this rocky beach. Like what? When the sea goes out, it leaves little pools of water in amongst the rocks. They're called rock pools. And in every rock pool, there's something special that the sea has left behind. Ooh, I can see something glittering. It's a coin. Wow. Maybe it's a pirate's treasure. Ooh. Let's make a collection of all the things we find. Yes, we'll put them in George's bucket. <laughs> <laughs> what surprise is waiting in this pool? There's nothing special in this one. Ho, 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 ho! There's always something, Pepper. Look closer. Ooh, there is something. Yes, it's a crab. Ah! The crab is pinching Grandpa Pig's finger. Oh! Ouch! Naughty Mr. Crab. <laughs> Look, George. Mr. Crab is walking sideways. <laughs> George is pretending to be a crab. <laughs> Pepper wants to be a crab too. We're naughty crabs. Pinch, pinch, pinch. <laughs> <laughs> pinch, pinch, pinch! Help! There are two naughty crabs trying to pinch me. Pinch, pinch, pinch! We're naughty crabs. Pinch, pinch, pinch! <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Shoo, 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 you naughty crabs. Go back to your little rock pools. Yes! 
Let's look in more rock pools. What can you see? A seashell. Can you hear the sea in it? What do you mean? If you put a shell to your ear, you can hear the sea. Wow! I can hear the sea. <laughs> I love my seashell. George, can you find a seashell too? <laughs> shell! That's not a shell. Oh. Pepper's right. That's not a shell. George has found a fossil. What's a fossil? A fossil is the remains of an animal that lived long ago, when there were dinosaurs. Dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> Rock pools are such fun. Yes, they're fun for us. But not for this little fish. A fish? Where? Ooh. Poor little fish. She's trapped. Oh. Oh? The little fish says she wants to go back to the sea. Maybe you could use your bucket to rescue her. Yes. Pepper is rescuing the little fish in her bucket. Don't worry, Mrs Fish. You'll soon be back with your friends. Bye-bye, Mrs Fish. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. I love rock pools. <laughs> <laughs> swimming! Pepper and her family are at the swimming pool. Daddy Pig is wearing his swimming costume. Mummy Pig is wearing her swimming costume. Pepper is wearing her swimming costume. Hurry up, George. Everyone's waiting. George is wearing his swimming costume. <laughs> Pepper, George, let Daddy put on your armbands. There, George. Your armbands make you look very grown up. Now me. <laughs> Good. Now we can go in the water. <laughs> It is George's first time at the swimming pool. Why don't you put just one foot into the water? Maybe you should try the other foot. Maybe George should try both feet at the same time. Good idea. <laughs> 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 Well done, George. But you don't need to splash quite so much. <laughs> Here is Rebecca Rabbit with her little brother, Richard Rabbit. Hello, Rebecca. <laughs> Hello, everyone. <laughs> Richard, hold on to this float and you can practice kicking your legs. <laughs> George, would you like to try kicking your legs? <laughs> <laughs> Very good, but try not to splash. Big children don't splash. We're very good at swimming. When George and Richard are older, they'll be able to swim like us. Won't they, Rebecca? Yes. <laughs> oh. Richard has a toy watering can. Stop it, Richard. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, dear. Richard has dropped his watering can into the pool. Not me. Sorry, Richard. I can't reach. It's too far down. Mummy. I can't swim underwater. Even I can't swim underwater. Hmm. Please hold my glasses, Mummy Pig. <sighs> Hooray! <laughs> there you go. Squeak, squeak. Well done, Daddy Pig. I am 
rather good at swimming underwater. <laughs> the watering can is for babies. Can we jump off the diving boards now? Sorry, Pepper. Diving boards are only for grown-ups. Oh. Cheer up, you two. You can watch me dive. Silly Daddy, your tummy is too big. <laughs> Nonsense. I won trophies for my diving when I was younger. That was quite a long time ago, Daddy Pig. It's lucky I've kept myself so fit and strong. Please hold my glasses, Mummy Pig. You'll get a better view if you watch me from the side. Please don't splash us with water, Daddy. Of course I won't splash you, Pepper. I think I need a higher board. Please be careful, Daddy Pig. Yes, don't splash us, Daddy. <laughs> don't worry, Pepper. Don't splash us with water, Daddy. I told you I wouldn't splash. <laughs> Clever, Daddy. Well done, Daddy Pig. No need for my towel. I've got a special way of drying myself. Yeah. Daddy Pig has splashed everyone with water. Daddy Pig! Sorry, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Grandad Dog's Garage. This is Grandad Dog's Garage. Here are Peppa and her family in their car. Hello, Danny. <coughs> Hello, Peppa. What can we do for you today? We've got petrol, air for tyres, and a new automatic car wash. Uh, two ice lollies, please. Oh, certainly. Grandad Dog's garage sells lots of things, even ice lollies. <laughs> Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> I love our car. <laughs> and our car loves us too, don't you? <laughs> oh dear, the car has stopped. It's no good. It won't start. I know. I'll ring Grandad Dog. Grandad Dog speaking. Help! Our car has broken down. Danny, we've got some rescuing to do. Yippee! <laughs> to the rescue! To the rescue! Look, there's Danny and Grandad Dog. Hooray! Grandad Dog knows everything about cars. Hmm. Is it serious? No, you've just run out of petrol. <laughs> What can we do? There's plenty of petrol at my garage. I'll tow you there. Grandad Dog is towing Pepper's car back to his garage. Grandad Dog is filling Pepper's car with petrol. Thank you, Grandad Dog. <laughs> Here are Susie Sheep and her mummy in their car. <laughs> Hello, Pepper. <laughs> Hello, Susie. We ran out of petrol. Grandad Dog rescued us. Wow, that's exciting. See you later. See you later. <laughs> oh no! All the air has gone out of the tyre. Will Grandad Dog have to rescue us? I think so. Grandad Dog speaking. I see. Don't panic, Mummy Sheep. I'm on my way. To the rescue! Can I go too? Hop aboard, Peppa. To the rescue! <laughs> to the rescue! Hello, Susie. We've come to rescue you. Hooray! Grandad Dog is filling the tyre with air. Thank you, Grandad Dog. Here are Granny Pig and Grandpa Pig in their car. Hello, everyone. Hello, Grandpa Pig. Would you like some petrol or air? No, thanks. I want to try out your new car wash. Certainly. It's run by a computer. Hello. I am the car wash of the future. Ooh. Ooh. 
First, soapy water. Then, a rinse. And finally, a polish. Wow! Sorry, I have malfunctioned. Oh dear, the computer has broken. And Grandpa Pig's car is stuck. Ah! Do something, Grandad Dog! Oh! I don't know how to mend computers. My daddy mended our computer at home. Uh, well, I didn't really mend the computer. I just... Good! Then this is a job for Daddy Pig. Hmm. Maybe if I just switch it off... ...and then switch it on again. Daddy Pig has mended the car wash. Hooray! Grandad Dog is the best at mending cars, but my daddy mended the car wash. <laughs> <laughs> Granny Pig's chickens. Peppa and George are having a sleepover at Granny and Grandpa's house. Granny Pig! Gangy-ig! Hello, my little ones. Bye-bye. See you later. Bye-bye, Mummy. Come and see where you're going to sleep tonight. <laughs> <laughs> this was Mummy Pig's room when she was a little piggy. In olden times. And this is the bed Mummy slept on. Ooh, bouncy bed. <laughs> <laughs> you're just like your Mummy when she was little. Did Mummy bounce on the bed? Of course. But Mummy tells us not to bounce on the bed. When Mummy was a little piggy, she was cheeky, just like you. Was she? <laughs> yes. <laughs> now, let's go and see Grandpa Pig in the garden. <laughs> <laughs> Grandpa Pig! Grandpa Pig! Hello, Pepper. Hello, George. Come and see my carrots. Grandpa Pig is very proud of his vegetables. Ooh. And here are my peas. Oh. But best of all are my lettuces. Oh, no! My lettuces! I think the birds have eaten them, Grandpa. Yes, birds. Why didn't Mr Scarecrow scare them away? Because the birds that ate my lettuces are very stupid. What's the matter, Grandpa Pig? Your friends have been eating my vegetables again. Which friends? Tom, Dick and Harry. <coughs> Those aren't their names. Granny Pig has chickens. <coughs> wow! Say hello to Jemima, Sarah and Vanessa. Hello. <coughs> and here is Neville. <coughs> Is Neville a boy chicken? Yes, Pepper. He's a cockerel. He's the worst. Scratching up my vegetables. Neville wouldn't hurt a fly. I've seen him eat flies. Yeah. And he ate my lettuce. You don't want to eat Grandpa's lettuce, do you? <coughs> Not when there's lovely corn to eat. <coughs> Come on, this way home. <coughs> Pepper, George, would you like to feed corn to the chickens? Yes, please, Granny. <coughs> Here you are, chickens. Eat up. <coughs> Ooh, you've got a Wendy house. That's the chicken coop. It's where the chickens lay their eggs. Eggs? I can't see any eggs. Not now, but there will be eggs soon. Ooh! It is bedtime for Pepper and George at Granny and Grandpa's house. <laughs> <laughs> Have the chickens laid their eggs yet, Granny? Maybe in the morning, Pepper. How will we know when it's morning? Neville will tell us. Now, go to sleep. Night, night. It is morning. It's Neville! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for waking us up, Neville. <laughs> Good morning, Jemima, Sarah and Vanessa. Do you have any eggs for us? One, two, three, four! Four eggs, Granny! Now we'll have eggs for breakfast. Thank you, Jemima, 
Sarah and Vanessa. <laughs> <laughs> Boiled eggs for everyone. Hooray! Mmm, delicious. <laughs> Granny, your chickens make yummy eggs. Yes! It's all that lovely corn they eat. And my lettuces. <laughs> <laughs> the train ride. Today, Peppa and her friends are going on a train ride. <laughs> Mr Rabbit is the station master. How many tickets? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten child tickets and one teacher ticket, please. Now, children, do not lose these tickets. Can I see your tickets, please? Uh, I've lost my ticket. Oh, dear Pedro, you must be more careful. There's your ticket. <laughs> oh, try not to lose it again. Here comes the train. Choo-choo! Miss Rabbit is the train driver. All aboard! Hooray! Clickety clack, clickety clack, the train goes on the track. Half the bug, half the bug, clickety clickety clack. <laughs> oh, here are your activity sheets. Ooh. The children have to spot everything that is on the activity sheet. A boat, a signal box, <laughs> and a tunnel. I can see trees. Are trees on the list? Uh, no. I can see clouds. Are clouds on the list? No. I can see Grandad Dog. Ahoy there! Hello, Grandad Dog! <laughs> Is Grandad Dog on the list? Silly Peppa, my Grandad won't be on the list. But he is sailing a boat. And a boat is on the list. Hooray! The children tick the boat on their activity sheets. <laughs> Tickets, please. Mr Rabbit has come to check everyone's ticket. Uh, I think I've lost my ticket. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Meow. There's your ticket, Pedro. You were sitting on it. <laughs> now you try not to lose it again, Pedro. The train is going slowly uphill. The train is going quickly downhill. <laughs> Madam Gazelle, I feel a bit sick. Can I go to the front, please? OK, Pedro. You can go to the front of the train. <laughs> Do da dum dum da -de da Nay. Hello, Pedro. Not feeling very well. Would you like to drive the train for a bit? Yes, please. Clickety-clack, <laughs> clickety-clack, the train runs on the track. Half and puff, half and puff, the train runs on the track. <laughs> <laughs> That's on our list. Hooray! The children tick the signal box on their activity sheets. The signal has stopped the train so that someone important can cross. It's Mrs Duck and her friends. <laughs> oh, we still haven't seen a tunnel. <gasps> hey, it's gone dark. We're in a tunnel. <laughs> the tunnel is the last thing on the activity sheet. Hooray! <laughs> last stop. Wall change. Everybody off now. But, Madam Gazelle, how are we going to get home? Oh, Peppa, we are back where we started. The train has gone in a big circle. Tickets, please. <laughs> <laughs> um, Pedro's lost his ticket again. Um... Pedro, can I have my hat back, please? There's Pedro's ticket. Oh, that's where I put it. <laughs> <laughs> Danny 
Dennis's pirate party. Today is Danny Dog's birthday. He is having a party. <laughs> Yo ho ho! Everyone has come dressed as pirates. Yo ho ho! Pedro Pony is dressed as a cowboy. Yeehaw! <laughs> Hi there, me hearties. It is Grandad Dog dressed as a pirate. Hello, Grandad Dog. Call me Dogbeard. Hello, Dogbeard. <laughs> Which of ye scurvy pirates crave a ration of swashbuckling o'er the brainy seas? Why is he talking funny? <laughs> That's pirates talk. If you want to play my pirate game, say arr. Arr. Is this a dangerous game? No, Pedro. Grandad Dog has promised me it will be a very safe game. Aww. But it will be exciting. So who wants to play? Arr. Here be the plan. Time was, I had a heap of gold that was mine by right, but I was horn swaddled by one cat and hog. What? Pirate talk is a bit difficult to understand. Captain Hog took my treasure. Oh. Know you, the Captain Hog is a fearsome pirate. Some of you may already know him as Grandpa Pig. Ah, Grandpa Pig! <laughs> the game is to go to Captain Hog's hideout and get back my treasure without being caught. Hooray! Everyone is excited to be playing the pirate game. Hello, Grandpa Pig. We're on our way. Jolly good. Jolly good. Grandpa Pig and Polly Parrot are guarding the pirate treasure. Be the black galleon fast and the wind at our backs will away! What does that mean? Run to the boat! Yo ho ho! Yeehaw! <laughs> oh there! Put your life jackets on! <laughs> on Grandad Dog's boat, all the children must wear life jackets. That scurvy dog beard should be here by now. Here's a nice cup of tea, Grandpa Pig. Oh, thank you, Granny Pig. At last. Are we all ready now? Mr. Dogbeard, I need to go to the toilet. And me. And me. And me. And me. And me. What can be keeping them? Hello, Grandad Dog? I thought you said you were on your way. Yes, yes, we're almost there. It's taken a while to get my crew together. Anchors away! Full sail! Hi, hi, Dogbeard! The Charlie Pirates we that sailed in blue sea to find a golden treasure. Full sail! Hi, to me! Land ahoy! The children have arrived at Grandpa Pig's orchard. <laughs> the game is to get that treasure without being caught. Hooray for the pirates! Shush, Mummy! I hope there are no pirates around here trying to take my lovely treasure. Peppa and her friends have got the coins without being caught. It's chocolate coins. Everybody loves chocolate coins. Yum, yum, yum. yum. Ah, got you. Grandad Dog has been caught. Try and take my treasure, would you? Tis mine. I won it fair and square. Oh, no, you didn't. Oh, yes, I did. Ruff, ruff, ruff. Uh, uh, thank you, Captain Hog and Dogbeard, for the lovely pirate game. Oh. You're very welcome. Uh, oh, yes. It's been lots of fun. Happy birthday, Danny! This be the best pirate party ever! <laughs> <laughs> the camper van. Pepper and George are very excited today. They are going on holiday. Oh, where's Daddy? He's bringing a secret surprise. <laughs> What's that? It's a camper van. We've borrowed it for our holiday. Ooh. This camper van has everything. This button works the sink. Wow! 
And this button works the TV. <laughs> what does this button do? I'm not sure. Maybe don't press it until we know. Is everybody ready to go on holiday? Yes, yes Mummy Pig. Then let's go. <laughs> We're going on holiday in a camper van. <laughs> <laughs> hmm, this map is a bit tricky. Daddy, we don't want to get lost. Don't worry, Pepper. I'm an expert at map reading. Oh, that's strange. Are we lost? Uh, yes. It's Grandad Dog with Danny Dog. Hello, Peppa. Hello, Danny. We're lost. What? Lost? Is your sat-nav broken? Sat-nav? You're driving a camper van T3200. Sat-nav comes as standard. Welcome to the car of the future. Ah. So that's what that button does. Where are we going today? The camper van is talking. Clever, isn't it? The computer voice helps you find your way. But how does it know where we want to go? You tell it. Uh, hello, Mrs. Camper Van. Hello. We're going on holiday. Can you tell us the way? Proceed on the current road in a straight Line. Thanks for your help, Grandad Dog. You're welcome. Have a lovely holiday. We're going on holiday in a camper van. <laughs> danger, danger. Oil is low. What's oil? Oil helps engines to run smoothly. Will the oil run out? No. These warnings always give you plenty of time. Oil is gone. Oh, dear. Luckily, I've got a spare can of oil. Well done, Daddy Pig. <laughs> we simply pour the oil into the engine and... Oh. What's wrong? There's nothing in here. The engine's gone. <laughs> it's Mummy Sheep with Susie Sheep. <laughs> Hello, Susie. <laughs> Hello, Peppa. We've lost our engine. Lost your engine? Yes. It's completely disappeared. I'd like to help, but I don't know a thing about engines. I'm probably just being silly, but this looks a bit like an engine. Ah, yes. Well spotted, Mummy Sheep. The camper van has its engine at the back. There. That should be enough oil. Thank you, Mummy Sheep. You're welcome. Have a lovely holiday. Are we nearly there yet? Just up the next hill. You have reached your destination. Hooray! Time for bed. Where will we sleep? Mummy Pig and I will sleep on this bed. Ooh! And you two will sleep upstairs. But there isn't an upstairs. Oh, oh, watch this. The camper van's roof is lifting up. The camper van is just like our little house. <laughs> While we're on holiday, it is our little house. <laughs> Good night, my little piggies. Good night. Parachute jump. It is raining and the school roof is leaking again. Oh! Didn't I fix this roof for you before, Madame Gazelle? Yes, Mr. Bull, but still it goes drippity drip drip. It's probably a broken roof tile. I wonder if it's this one. Has the dripping stopped? No, it's dripping more. Maybe these are the broken tiles. Is that any better? No, it's getting worse. Hmm, this is a big hole you've got here. It's gonna cost a lot of money to fix. Oh dear, where shall we get the money to mend the school roof this time? My daddy did a parachute jump for charity. He floated down and made lots of money. Hooray! 
Good idea, Pedro. Hands up. Who thinks their mummy or daddy would like to do a parachute jump? My mummy. My, 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 my daddy. My daddy. We need just one. Pepper and George have arrived back home. Mummy, the school roof is leaking again. Is it, darling? Yes. Madam Gazelle says it needs a lot of money to mend. Yes, yes, I'm sure it does. She asked if somebody's mummy or daddy would jump out of an aeroplane. Oh, I hope you didn't say daddy would do it, Pepper. You know he doesn't like heights. But you don't mind heights, do you, Mummy? I'm fine with heights. Good. Oh. Thank you, Mummy Pig, for agreeing to jump from an aeroplane. What? But I've never done it before. You'll be fine. Remember, it is for the children. Oh, in that case, of course I'll do it. Hooray for, for Mummy Pig! It is the day of Mummy Pig's parachute jump. I'm still not sure I really want to do this. It's all in a good cause, Mummy Pig. <gasps> But I don't know how to jump out of an aeroplane. Don't worry. You'll get lots of training first. Hello, Mummy Pig. Mr Rabbit is the parachute trainer. This is a parachute. It will help you float through the air after you jump. Should I practice that? Practice what? Jumping. Why not? There. You're a natural. Is that it? Yes. You are now fully trained. Hooray! <laughs> All aboard! I'm still a tiny bit worried about this jump, Daddy Pig. It's OK, Mummy Pig. I'll come up in the plane with you. Good luck, Mummy! Don't worry, Mummy Pig. Remember, you've got a parachute. Yes, Daddy Pig. Oh, we are a long way from the ground! Oh, oh dear! Oh. Daddy Pig has fallen out of the plane! There she goes! No, wait! That's Daddy Pig! Oh. Wait for me, Daddy Pig! Whee! Mummy Pig has jumped! She is going to rescue Daddy Pig! Oh. Got you! Oh, she's got him! Hooray! My mummy to the rescue! Thank you for saving me, Mummy Pig! Oh, Teddy Pig, you're starting to slip! Mr Bull has just finished mending the school roof. Lovely job! It'll last for years! I can't hold on! Ah! Daddy! <laughs> Is Daddy Pig all right? Oh, oh, I'm fine. Good, because you'll need to do that parachute jump again. What? To raise the money to fix this new hole in the school roof. Oh, all right. Hooray for Daddy Pig! <laughs> <laughs> Miss Rabbit's taxi. Pepper and George are shopping with Mummy Pig. <laughs> a lot of shopping. It's for Grandpa Pig. My granny is going away on holiday. Oh, I see. That's a lot of shopping. It's everything on Granny Pig's list. Where's the car? I didn't bring the car. I didn't think you'd be buying so much. Oh, I'll call for a taxi. Hello, taxi service. A taxi will be with you shortly. Sorry, I'm just popping out. Back in a mo. Taxi service. Where are you going? Granny and Grandpa Pig's house, please. Righty ho. Pop in. <laughs> So you've been shopping. Lots of shopping about these days. Shopping for this, shopping for that. Shopping, shopping, Miss shopping. Miss Rabbit, why are you talking so much? It's what taxi drivers do, Peppa. Ah. Oh. Mind you, I had Mr Potato in the back of the car the other day. I thought he'd be... Granny well. Pig is going away for a few days. Grandpa Pig will be on his own. This is a tin of food. To get the food out, you will need this. 
It's a tin opener. I know what it is, Granny Pig. If you want to boil an egg, fill a pan full of water. Yes, then... yes, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Granny Pig! <laughs> Hello, my little ones. We've got the shopping. But why are you not at the airport, Granny? Oh, yes. I'd better call a taxi. Taxi service. Hello, Granny Pig. I'd like to go to the airport, please. Of course. Hop in. Thank you. Daddy, can we wave Granny goodbye at the airport? OK. <laughs> bye. Bye-bye. Going to the airport, are you? Yes. And actually, we're in a bit of a hurry. Hurry in here, hurry in there. Why are people always in a hurry? Granny Pig has a plane to catch. She's going on holiday. Holiday? I never have time to go on holiday. I'm too busy being in a hurry. Miss Rabbit, are you talking like a taxi driver again? Yes. The taxi has arrived at the airport. Bye bye, little ones. Bye bye, Granny. Bye bye. Pepper and George are waving Granny Pig goodbye. <laughs> Here is Mr. Wolf. Taxi. Hop in. Bye bye, Mr. Wolf. Pepper and George love waving goodbye. Bye bye. <laughs> Daddy, how are we getting home? In the taxi. Oh, it's gone. On holiday, have you? I'm actually very tired. Do you mind if we don't talk? Talk? Yes, people talk too much these days, don't they? Talk, 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 talk. And they say some people can talk for hours without taking a breath. My sister can talk. She can... Hello, taxi service. Hello, could you pick us up from the airport, please? The airport? Righty ho. Stop! Hello, Mr. Bull. Are you mending the road? No, I'm supposed to be mending the airport, but my truck's broken down. I'm going to the airport. Hop in. Have you got any luggage? Just the sand. <laughs> Miss Rabbit's taxi is full of sand. Bye, boss. Hello, Hello boss. boss. Hello, lads. Here's the sand. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. <coughs> no problem. Take us home, please, Miss Rabbit. Righty ho. There you are, my last taxi ride of the day. <laughs> now you can go home and have a rest. Ha! I should be so lucky. Sorry to have kept you waiting. It's just another busy day for Miss Rabbit. Playing pretend. Susie Sheep has come to play with Peppa. <laughs> Hello, Peppa. Let's do a bicycle race. OK. Ready, steady, go! <laughs> oh, no! What's the matter, Peppa? My tyre has gone flat. It's only a puncture. I'm a bit of an expert at mending punctures. <laughs> First, we take off the wheel. Next, we take the tyre off the wheel. Are you coming, Papa? Then we need a bucket of water. Can you do it quickly, Daddy? I won't be long, Peppa. While you wait, you could pretend to ride a bicycle. Pretend? Yes, your very own pretend bicycle. Okay, I have thought of a very nice bike. Oh, oh. <laughs> I'm riding my bicycle. La 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 la. <laughs> Why are you walking, Funny? I'm not walking, Susie. Where's your bicycle? It's here. It's a pretend bicycle. <laughs> it's got sparkly wheels and it's painted like a rainbow. Ooh. I wish I had a pretend bicycle. You can, and it can be anything you like. OK, my pretend bicycle is pink and fluffy. <laughs> wow! <laughs> <laughs> Here is Danny Dog. Hello. Hello, Danny. Do you want to play ball? Have you got a ball? No. It doesn't matter. We can have a pretend ball. Catch, Danny! <laughs> Let's give it a big kick. Oof! Oh! Hello, everyone. It is Rebecca Rabbit. Hello.
Hello, Rebecca. We're playing with a pretend ball. Until Danny kicked it over there. Oh, I know a pretending game. You have to guess what I am. You're a rabbit. No, I'm pretending to be something else. Are you a donkey? No. Are you a fluffy elephant? No. A space rocket? No. <sighs> this is going to take a long time, isn't it? Ask me if I'm big. Are you big? No. I'll give you a clue. I'm a vegetable. Hmm. Can you give us a better clue? Ask me if I'm a carrot. Are you a carrot? Yes. Hooray! <laughs> George has come to play. George, you pretend to be something and we will guess what you are. A dinosaur. <laughs> That's too easy, George. You can be anything in the whole wide world. George is thinking. <gasps> A dinosaur. Hello, everyone. Here is Pedro Pony. What are you playing? We were playing a pretend guessing game, but I think that game is over. What game do you want to play, Pedro? Jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Yes! Let's find some puddles! <coughs> oh, there are no puddles. You need rain for puddles. We can pretend it's raining. <laughs> it's raining, it's pouring, <laughs> the splish is splosh, the rain comes down. Diddly, diddly, diddly. <laughs> the pretend rain has made pretend puddles. Hooray! Splish, splash, splosh! Peppa, your bike is mended. I don't need it now, Daddy. Oh? I'm pretending to jump up and down in muddy puddles. Ah, yes. Those puddles do look rather good. I think I'll do some puddle jumping myself. Ready? Steady? Stop! What's the matter, Peppa? If you jump in muddy puddles, you must wear your boots. <laughs> but I'm wearing my best pretend boots. <laughs> then you are allowed to jump. Ready? Steady? Jump! <laughs> Daddy Pig loves jumping up and down in pretend muddy puddles. Everyone loves jumping up and down in pretend muddy puddles. Scooters! <laughs> it is a lovely sunny day. Pepper and George are playing on their scooters. Whee! <laughs> <laughs> vroom, vroom. <laughs> oh. George is still learning how to scooter. He is a bit worried. George, <laughs> shall I teach you how to scooter? <laughs> OK, you hold on to the handlebars like this with both hands. Now stand on the scooter. Oh. No, George, stand on the scooter with one foot. Good. <laughs> now push off with the other foot like this. Whee! <laughs> George, you're doing it! George has learned to scooter. <laughs> Peppa, George! That's enough scootering for now. It's time to go to playgroup. Oh, we've only just started scootering. <laughs> Can we ride our scooters to playgroup, Daddy? Good idea. We could do with the exercise. Hooray! Ready, steady, go! Whee! Wait for me! See you later, Mummy Pig! See you later! Pepper and George are riding their scooters to playgroup. Not so fast! Come on, Daddy! Daddy can't keep up! Wait for me! Pepper and George have arrived at playgroup. Bye. Oh, now I'm going to have to walk back home. What I need are some wheels. Hang on, I've got wheels. Whee! 
<laughs> this is fun. <laughs> Daddy Pig likes scootering. Vroom, vroom. Whee! <laughs> Daddy Pig, you're riding Peppa's scooter. Yes, scootering is such fun. You should try it sometime. Pepper and George are painting pictures at Playgroup. Madam Gazelle, we came to school on our scooters today. <laughs> Very good, Pepper and George. Let's all paint pictures of how we came to school today. <laughs> I came on my bicycle. <laughs> Very good. I walked here. So nice to get the fresh air in your lungs. My granddad brought me in his truck. Broom, broom, broom. Uh -huh. Lovely. It is time for Mummy and Daddy Pig to pick up the children from playgroup. Have you got the car keys, Daddy Pig? I don't think we should take the car, Mummy Pig. But it's a long way to walk to playgroup. We don't have to walk. I made that mistake this morning. We can scooter. <laughs> Race you! Whee! What? Are you sure? Uh, okay. Whee! Whee! Mummy and Daddy Pig are scootering to playgroup to pick up Pepper and George. <laughs> Yippee! <laughs> <laughs> that was great. I told you we wouldn't have to walk. Mummy, Daddy, you brought our scooters. <laughs> Hooray! Whee! Whee! Ah, uh, yes. That seems to leave us without scooters for the journey home. Daddy Pig, you said we wouldn't have to walk. We won't have to walk, but we will have to run. Race you! Hey, wait for me! Whee! <laughs> this is fun! Peppa! George! Oh, wait for Mummy and Daddy! <laughs> Peppa and George love scootering. Everybody loves scootering. <laughs> Pumpkin competition. Pepper and her friends are at playgroup. Oh, it is almost Halloween, children. And we are going to have a pumpkin competition. Ooh. Have you all brought in your pumpkins? Yes. yes. I grew my pumpkin from a seed. My mummy bought my pumpkin from the supermarket. I've got a pumpkin that's made out of plastic. Uh, I haven't got my pumpkin here because Grandpa is still growing it. Fine. Just remember to decorate your pumpkins and bring them back here for the competition tonight. <laughs> there will be prizes for everyone. Granny and Grandpa Pig have come to collect Pepper. Granny Pig! Grandpa Pig! Have you got my pumpkin for the competition tonight? Don't worry, Peppa. Your pumpkin is safe and sound in my greenhouse. Is my pumpkin big, Grandpa? Oh, yes. <laughs> This is Grandpa Pig's greenhouse. May I present your pumpkin? Grandpa! It is the biggest pumpkin in the world. Quite possibly. But how are we going to get such a huge pumpkin to the playgroup? One step at a time, Granny Pig. We need to make this pumpkin into a lantern. Ooh. First, I will scoop out all the inside. <laughs> now we cut out the face. <laughs> and we put a candle inside to make it glow. Lovely! <laughs> now we put the pumpkin into the car. The pumpkin is very, very heavy. <laughs> There. Step one complete. We're out of the greenhouse. Now for step two. We lift it into the car. The pumpkin is impossible to lift. I told you it was too big. It's not too big. We just need a bit of help. Hello! Miss Rabbit's helicopter rescue service! Miss Rabbit! Please come to our rescue. It's very important. Come quickly. I'm on my way. All the children have brought their pumpkin lanterns to playgroup. Welcome to 
to the pumpkin competition. If everyone is here, we will get started. Peppa isn't here. Oh, where is she? Miss Rabbit's rescue helicopter has arrived at Grandpa's greenhouse. So, who needs rescuing? My pumpkin! We have to get it to the playgroup in time for the competition. OK. Hop aboard! <laughs> <laughs> Next stop, the playgroup. I think we will have to start without Pepper. Aw, it won't be fun without Pepper. The prize for the best pumpkin grown from seed goes to Susie Sheep. That's me. This is fun. <laughs> the prize for the best pumpkin bought from a supermarket goes to Pedro Pony. That's me. Nay. <laughs> the prize for the best plastic pumpkin goes to... What's that noise? Look. What's that? There's a light in the sky. Ooh. <laughs> it's a flying pumpkin. It's Peppa's pumpkin. Wow. For the best flying pumpkin goes to Peppa Pig. Yay! <laughs> this is the best Halloween ever. Peppa loves Halloween. Everyone loves Halloween. 